Hey guys, so today I want to compare the Galaxy S4 uh, with Android 4.2 into Jelly Bean uh, versus my iPhone 5 having the latest version of iOS, uh, which is iOS 7, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, we will be doing a benchmark comparison here. I've been doing four reviews on these. I've been checking out the browser, checking out uh, some gaming uh, and maybe some other things. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've been checking out those awesome things. Uh, but this is just a benchmark comparison video. And just to confirm, of course, you already do know this is iOS. This is how it looks like. Yeah, the, the good stuff with the control center and uh, everything up here at the top. Double tap. Uh, great here. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to check it out here also on... Uh, my Galaxy S4, which is the, uh, the GT, as you can see in here, you should be able to, it's not the octa-core variant, it's the GT R9505, yes, Android 4.2.2, the latest version that I did install, I uh, should have like smart scroll in here and awesomeness. Uh, so we're checking out two different apps, the first one uh, is going to by Geekbench, and now I have Geekbench here, let's see. If there is a newer variant out, okay, Geekbench 2. Uh, great, great, great. Let's fire it up here as well. Uh, so, of course, in terms of specs, uh, the Galaxy S4 is a little bit better and higher spec here with quad core, uh, more memory here as well. Uh, but let's see here uh, how they do run. Of course, this app looks so much better here in uh, in iOS. You, this one has an ugly pop-up window, <laughs> but this, of course, is an app for iOS most mostly. Geekbench, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Got a Geekbench score of three thousand two hundred and forty-five. See how the iPhone uh, stacks up against that. Still running the benchmarks. There we go. So you can see I almost got a double score here. And uh, that's not weird or anything. That was kind of like what we did expect. You can see also I can scroll up and down much quicker here. Something I definitely think the Apple should fix. fix. But of course, this doesn't me me measure real-world performance, definitely not. As you can see, operating system iOS 7, Android 4.2.2. Now, let's check out another app from Antitude. It's called the 3D Rating App. And uh, let's run this benchmark. There you can see there. Uh, trying out the FPS that's way higher here. I can I can see uh, And the app, app is really really good at optimizing especially when we talk about the GPU performance So we get almost like 50 FPS here on the iPhone uh, while we're getting a, sc a score of uh, 30 if to 40 FPS here on my Galaxy S4 GT on iPhone 5 pretty cool and pretty fun So I'm not sure what's happening here on the screen, but they seem to be random jumping up and down with their knives and stuff. Pretty cool. Cool. Maybe not. <laughs> and of course, we are waiting for Apple to release a new iPhone this year. Um, we have rumors that they will be releasing a bigger iPhone this year, a 5.7 inch iPhone maybe, a, a Note iPhone kind of ish. Okay, so we get a score of 11,000 uh, on the iPhone 5 versus a score of only 6,000 on the Galaxy S4. So getting crushed here by the iPhone in this benchmark test, but hey, in the first benchmark program, uh, press back to exit, okay. Uh, but in the first first benchmark program, let's see, would you want to know? Uh, in the first one, uh, the Galaxy S4 did crush 
uh, the iPhone. So kind of fair here. Both uh, were pretty good uh, in different kind of apps. So judge for yourself which one is the winner. But this is just the benchmark, okay? Remember that. It's the benchmark. Nothing serious. <laughs> it's just two phones. Remember that. Have a good day.